We are the essence of God. We are the presence of God. We are the image of God. We are the sons of God. As the rays of the sun give off the radiance of God, so we each are the divine ray of God. The glory and crown, the ray of the sun. We are the sons of God. Humanity is waking up to this realization, to this reality, the divinity and humanity come together as one. We are being given the mind of Christ to know that we are the sons of God. God is not separate from us, nor is God apart from us. God is the very essence of who we are. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ, this anointing that lives inside of us from the beginning. Nothing could ever separate us from God, not even ourselves. It is only our conscious awareness that separates us. I talk about my son a lot and how he came to this earth with a higher consciousness. According to earth standards, his intelligence quoted, quotient is low. And yet his spiritual mental and emotional quotients are very high. His intelligence, his spiritual intelligence is very, very high. His conscious awareness of the spiritual realms, the heavenlies, and what is important is very, very high. And his awareness of this false world and its greed and its desires and its lusts is much, much lower than the typical person because his consciousness was already raised when he came into this realm. Oh, to live in the dimensions of God, awareness of the dimensions of God, this is true faith, to live in unseen realms and manifest those realms here in the 3D earth dimension these are the deeper revelations of what christ's words mean to us the kingdom of god is within us god himself this essence this presence of the very divine creator the creative power of the holy spirit the breath of god the love that surpasses knowledge is inseparable from us And it is the lower consciousness of the ego and living through the realms of the ego and its lusts and its desires in this world, this 3D world, this realm of false pleasures and fleeting lusts that pull us away from the understanding and the bliss of the heavenly realms. And yet here in this realm, the traumas and the darknesses that we encounter are the very avenue by which we find our way into the light if we will allow, if we will take the courageous path that very narrow way through our own hell and Hades, through our own paths of darkness into the glorious light of the kingdom within us. There is no other way. We can't go out. We must go in. 
we must go in. And then by default, this kingdom permeates out of us through the realms, its power, its glory, its radiance, its beauty, its supernatural workings, co-create with the creator. We don't call ourselves God or gods, and yet God is inseparable from us. We are the essence of God, the sons of God, and yet God is greater, as Jesus said. I am the beloved son of God, and my father is greater. Do not call me good, only my father is good, and we are one. I in him and him in me, and you are in me, just as I am in my father. This is a mystery of the gospel of the kingdom. Who can grasp it except through the higher mind and the surrender of the ego in this world? The thing about the ego is that when it is in its operation, it blinds us and we are unaware of its dominance. And that's why karmic things happen to us so that we might be made aware because it seeks the throne, it seeks rulership, and it is the self-destroyer, it is the self-sabotage, it is Satan, <laughs> it is the essence of the false deceiver in this world that leads us into all deception. And yet that path, if we take it, can redirect us into truth and into light and into love. So everything is good for the kingdom. Everything can lead us to the higher realms of the heavenly kingdom within. When we go within, it's all through the soul path. And so this world is an outward distraction to keep our ego pointed outward at everybody else. I would like to challenge us even when we're speaking online, that we would not use the word you, that we would either use the words I, preferably I, or we as a collective, rather than to say, when you do this, if you do that, you should do this, you need to do that. We have to stop saying the word you and speak from the first person or at least the collective. We, when we do this, this happens. If I do that, then that happens. Because we become more and more aware of our ego when we speak that way. And we become more and more aware of the self um, path, the path into our true self. We become more and more aware of um, self-awareness. We have to stop speaking towards everyone and at everyone. It's a, it's a practice that we can implement that be, helps us become self-aware, that leads us to the inner path of who we really are. Let's practice that. The world is waking up. It's a collective move of God in the earth, and uh, there is no separation lines in that move of God. We are one, and what is in one is in the whole, and what is in the whole is in one. And as we find that path of high mind and truer love through the essence of God in us, out of the ego, into to the true essence of the Christ, the anointed one in us, we then feel more and more one with the whole and we begin to embody and understand and acknowledge this love, which we are in God for the whole. There is no separation. There is no judgment. There is only the heart of God, the love of God for the whole.
And this is bliss as we let go of our ego in this world and we gain the heart of God and the essence of God, our true identity. We flow in our true identity and bliss comes over us as we flow in the Holy Spirit. And the things in this world grow strangely dim to us. They are unimportant, but the things of heaven's realms and dimensions are everything and they bring us the vibrations of heaven. Life upon life upon life upon life upon life, vibrating, radiating through our very being. It's a mystery. It's the mystery of Christ in us, the Son of the living God, whom we are. The crucifixion is an ongoing acknowledgement of the death of the ego, and the resurrection of the Christ in us. And the boundlessness of moving through the realms and the dimensions through sonship and through the inheritance of that sonship. It's glorious. It's a glorious path for all not just for some or a select few or a certain religion, but for all. It is the whole. It is the body. It is the one. May we have this mind of Christ to know and to understand, to surrender, and to love with this oneness.